What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and for today we're going to put to the test a bunch of I seen on TV products. Let's see what they're all about. For this gadget we're going to put to the test a garden hose. I seen on TV, this is supposed to be king free metal garden hose with a heavy heavy pressure and look it also comes with one of these nozzles. Okay, first impression, when you buy a new hose and it wrapped up, usually it's all twisted up and it takes a long time to, for the hose to get all untwisted, so that way it is flexible. It just stays so stiff because it's so wrapped around together like hoses, like this, regular hoses, it's annoying. This thing is so flexible, it's amazing. So they do not get twisted up. And if you fold it properly, let's see what happens. Look at that. If I'm gonna pull out the hose, yeah, it kind of tangles a little bit, but as you can see, for the most part, it comes off really easily. And look at this nut. It does not kink. So what I'm gonna do, try to kink it and see if water pressure will stop or not. Look at that. It does not want to kink at all. It just holds like that. All right, let's plug it in to a hose and see what happens. As you can see, the pressure is really good. Love it. Now, let's try to kink it up. Still, the pressure is really, really good. And as you can see, it does not kink, which is amazing. Most Hoses will can get kinked up really easily. Let's make a little knot right here. Ah! You see, it does not kink at all. The pressure is still going really, really well. Now, let's see if this hose kink free. Nope, it's not. You see how it's completely shut down the water. Heavy floor right here. But it can kink up all the time. You know how it gets tangled, you pull it out 50 feet, 25 feet, and then it gets tangled up and then it gets kinked. Well, that's a huge advantage on the other hose because it doesn't kink up. Another test they did, they got the hose and used scissors and just cut it through. You see, it's cutting through. Boom, super easy. Well, this hose supposed to not be able to do so. Uh, you see, it just breaks the scissors. So, definitely can see the power of this hose. Nothing. I have here a very old hose, I need to replace it anyways. So, might as well let's put it to the test how strong it is. Wow, no way. One cut, it's halfway. Two cuts, maybe three. No way. Yeah, it's true, the other hose is a lot stronger. Look how easy it is to cut these hoses off. So that's pretty amazing. And this hose, check this out. You can just open it up like this. And that's about like 25 feet. So you choose which hose would you rather get, one of this or one of this for the gardening. But again, I love both hoses. This one will be perfect for gardening, this one will be perfect for the pressure washings and jobs like that. For the next Cena TV product I got here, $19 veneers. Can you believe that? That's kind of a funny gadget. But anyways, let's see what it's all about. Pop this open. No way, I thought they actually plug in into your teeth. They actually stuck to your teeth, stick to your teeth like a sticker. I cannot believe these teeth are just a little plastic piece, that's it, with the glue in the back of it, that you're supposed to put in hot water for two minutes, wait 10 to 15 seconds to cool off a little bit, then you gotta put it onto your teeth for 30 seconds, and then you gotta take them off 
and then they're going to mold like perfect to your teeth and then you can insert it and reinsert it like that and it says important do not keep perfect smile in your mouth for more than 30 seconds when molding to your teeth for the first time so let's try it out hopefully it does not ruin my teeth it's kind of scary so I got here boiled water then we're going to put this $19 veneers into the boiled water for two minutes okay it's been two minutes let's pull it out oh wow it is a lot softer now let's put it onto my teeth for a little bit Okay, this is what it looks like once it all died out. You can actually see imprints of my teeth. Okay guys, before and after now. This is my teeth, now $19 one years. I don't know what I did on, but they don't ever really stick that well. <laughs> Look, they even white them. I look so fake with those teeth. Maybe I just put them on on or something. Haha, <laughs> look at my teeth. Oh, fell out. <laughs> but I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Maybe just to take picture with, not really to wear it. But this is funny. What do you think? This is just a piece of plastic with the glue in the back of it. And you just glue this fake teeth that don't even look like real teeth right on your teeth this is the weirdest thing ever not really glue it you kind of mold it and then they're supposed to plug in like this but obviously i have failed because they're falling out and i cannot speak with them anyways let's see another as seen on TV product. I got here ID protector stamp. Let's see what this thing is all about. It says that instead of shredding, you can just stamp over the address so that way you don't even have to shred your paper. I got here advertisement magazine. So let's see if we're going to stamp it and we're going to able to see after we stamp it. That's actually pretty good. You just stamp the address out and you cannot actually see anything or read it so that's kind of works and of course if you really want to be certain you just tap it a few times boom and that way they won't be able to see your address oh what just happened it got stuck That's it. Well guys, you see what just happened. I stamped a bunch of stuff. It works, it definitely hides it and it's a stamp, but somehow something got jammed, the stamp have fell off or something happened that it does not work anymore. Kind of disappointed a little bit that it's not high quality. It's like fell apart of me, but it definitely does work. Just don't go crazy at it. So maybe I'll use the pliers to pull it out and fix it. But anyways, it is what it is. For this Asinon TV product, we got here maximum strength scratch remover. On my bumper right here, dogs jumping on and off. They scratch it up with their nails all the time. So this is, will be a good example because there's some smaller scratches and some bigger ones. So I'm gonna do half of it. A small layer, they say, just put and then just apply it like this and leave it for 30 seconds then i'm gonna wipe it off with the damp towel wow it looks a lot better actually of course i can see some bigger scratches right here and then buff it out oh never mind look most of the scratches just have came back anyways Maybe I should put a little bit more just for fun, see what happens. Maybe that's what they mean by small amount. Okay, it's been 30 seconds. Let's see if we can buff it out and it's going to look very good. 
Well guys, although it is a little bit better, but at the same time I still can see a lot of scratches still there. For the next gadget I got here toilet paper holder, but it has also a little shelf. Let's see if actually works great. First of all, let's put to the test the suction cup. You plug it in and then make sure you make it flat and straight and then you just spin it. Okay, suction cup works really well. Now you got your toilet paper, which is actually really easy to install and take off. I like that a lot. Usually it's a pain to put in new roll. And then look, when you pull it out, it actually holds it really well. It doesn't spin away. You see, it stops it, which is kind of cool. Probably will protect it from cats playing with it too. And of course, most important, you got here a little shelf for your cell phone. Anyways, let me know in comments below what do you think about this little toilet paper cutty. Pretty cool, definitely works well. Thumbs up for me. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think, which one was your favorite. And of course, don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.